Say his name and he'll appear. Cause I believe in Joe Hendry. I believe in Joe Hendry. Mm. Welcome back to the Wrestling Fog Wrestling Show. It's not really the Fog Wrestling Show, it's just a longer video. If you get that reference, God bless you. But uh, yeah, it's the 13th of August NXT quarter ratings from 2024. And we have to begin where you go in to anybody's store at the door because it's quarter one. <laughs> right, these rhymes, that's plenty. Quarter one, 8 o'clock to 8.15. We had a recap. Ethan Page, Joe Hendry, live promo. Angle with Wesley, no quarter catch crew, backstage angle. This did 608 thousand viewers into the 18 to 49 we did a 0.19 246 thousand viewers so again pretty poor way to start the show considering we're back on the usa network quarter two 8 15 to 8 30 with the nxt women's championship backstage angle tony d'angelo took on charlie dempsey this went up 2,000 viewers and lost a thousand uh, three thousand viewers in the 18 to 49 not much to write home about but in to quarter three, which was the highest quarter of the show. Um, 8.30 to 8.45, with D'Angelo Dempsey continuing with post-match with Miles Bourne, Ren Sinclair, Clanny Jordan, Lola Feist, Tate and Paxley backstage, Angle, Eddie Fort versus Lexus King, Trick Williams then cut a promo, and then Pete Dunne was backstage. This actually went up 9% to 666,000 viewers into the 18 to 49. Well, we went up to quarter of a million exactly on the button, a 3% increase up to a 0.19 and 18 to 49 so yeah uh, i mean not exactly i mean the greatest ratings of all time here but they'll take it but uh yeah what they won't take is a five percent decrease in the next quarter which was fourth quarter fourth quarter nina hill mary here 845 the nine o'clock with jc jane jasmine next fell and hendry metaphor Paxley versus Fies, post-match with Jordan, Wendy Chu, women's title backstage angle, Brindley Reese, Carmen Petrovich backstage angle, we then had a wee cheeky ad break, 635,000 viewers, minus 5%, minus 8%, so again, and that was an 18-49, and an up 0.17, 229,000 viewers there, into quarter five with Lee, Dunn, Hendry, Live angle, Exam, Nathan Fraser, backstage promo, D'Angelo family, backstage angle, Obafemi, backstage promo, Chase U, backstage angle, 643,000 viewers, plus 1%, up to 0.18 though, with a 3% increase in the 18 to 49, 235,000 viewers, in the quarter 6, we had Femi, Otis, challenging each other here, North American Championship on the line brother, uh, on the line, Brooks Jensen, John Spears, Fedio, Amalek, Blade, Endris, Endris Anofi, Hank Walker, Hank Ledger, Backstage Angle. This would do 1% down to 636,000 viewers. Um, then we had a 5% decrease in 18 to 49, 223,000 viewers. But then we saw the biggest decrease of them all in quarter 7. 9.30 to 9.45, doing 7% to 5.90, doing 6% in the 18 to 49, down to 209. And this quarter featured an ad break. Izzy Dame took on Brinley Reese, Ava Roxanne Perez backstage, Shawn Michaels had a video, but I mean, uh, Shawn Michaels had a video. Well, uh, what was Shawn Michaels doing? Oh, this is how you cook, Hunter. Yeah, this is how you cook, Hunter. Fuck me, man. No wonder this didn't draw. In the quarter eight, we're doing a further 5% down to 559,000 viewers. We had a Shanti Adonis backstage. Um, Xavier and Fraser took on Chase University for the tag titles. Like I said, doing 5%. Actually gained 1,000 viewers in 18 to 49. Then in the overrun, Xavier and Nathan Fraser took on Chase University. This went up 6% to 590. Then it went up 7% in the 18 to 49, up to 225. Overall, finishing with 617 and a 0.17, 230,000 viewers in the 18 to 49. So, did the numbers for NXT better than what it has been, but when your numbers are really low, I mean, we're not going to, I'm not going to sit here and pretend that these ratings are absolutely fan dabby dozy. They're not troops, all right? They're, they're just not. Um, they're not that good, to say the least. Anyway. Leave your thoughts down below. That's your NXT quarters. Peace.